What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more of our Sonic Adventure 1 playthrough. I'm really happy. I'm, I'm so amazed that so many of you guys like felt the same compassion that I do for this game. And then again, I shouldn't be surprised though. This is somewhat of a classic, but it's, this game was in a lot more people's hands than I thought it was initially, man. I'm really amazed by it. So I just want to say thank you guys for the support that you guys are showing. You know, it's really heartwarming to see that so many people like share the same love for this series as I do, you know? Once again, this is my favorite gaming series whatsoever. But um, for those of you who haven't played Sonic Adventure 1, this is the actual intro segment. It's pretty intense, so um, yeah, it's it's still awesome to watch, even to this day. It's outdated, but hey. I wish I had the original adventure, but hey, it's still cool. Yeah, I love it, I love it, man. Yeah, that crazy water monster, it's gonna make more sense later on. But then again, you saw Chaos already. I remember when I was a kid watching this, I was like, oh my god! Because <laughs> I was already into Sonic from before this game came out, way before this game came out. So, when I saw all this as a kid, I was just like, it was crazy. The main theme is pretty sick too. Oh man, that theme! Oh man, that theme. That theme. I actually met the guys who um, created the theme, June Seno and um, Johnny Gioli. I met them because I was um, I was staff at a Sonic event that happened in London. And yeah, I I'm telling you, I went deep in this franchise. Okay, let's get back to our file. Just wanted to show you guys the intro for those of you who haven't really played the game, although I know a lot of you have, but some of you may have not, so I want to show you guys. Now, if you remember in the last episode, we actually unlocked Tails. So he's here at the character select screen, but we can't choose him yet. Well, actually, no, we can choose him now, but I don't want to choose him yet. I want to stay with Sonic's story all the way through, you know what I mean? Well, maybe we'll mix it up later on, you know? You guys let me know in the comments of this video. Do you want me to stay Sonic all the way till the end without doing anybody else? Or do you want me to play everyone kind of like in a mix, you know? You let me know. But for now, we're going to go with Sonic. Let's get him. Now, the cool thing about this game is that when you choose your character, it'll tell you about the story and where you left off from before. So, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I ran across Emerald Coast and I found Tails, who I haven't seen for a while. He had a great idea about creating something using the Chaos Emerald, and he just loves making machines. What? He has a workshop in the Mystic Ruins? Okay, I'll go visit if you want me to. So they do that every single time that you um, turn the game on and play it again, just to kind of like keep you in tow with the story. So now, let's just set up my controls real quick. I want to change my sensitivity. Can I change my sensitivity in this old ass game? <laughs> I don't think I can. I really want to, but I, I highly doubt you can. Yeah, man, sensitivity is not something that this game has configuration for. All right, so I have to deal with this because the controller is a little bit finicky. All right. So in the last episode, we just walked around the city. I was just showing you guys the basic stuff that's around here. But um, for now, we're actually going to get into the train station, as you heard Tails mention earlier, which goes to the Mystic Ruins. So once we go there, we'll see what's going on, you know? Headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. See what these people got to say. Finally, Station Square. I'm going to the beach, the casino, and Twinkle Park. This city has everything, as you guys can see. I'm Mr. Know-It-All, this little kid. Here's a tip. When you jump, it makes a big difference how long you hold down the button. Yeah, I did know that. I've been playing this game for years, man. This is the center of Station Square. If you want to go to the Mystic Ruins, take that train, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to listen to too much of the stuff that the people say. Oh, and these are the trains. Now, the cool thing about these is that if you go inside of them and you change the camera angle, you can actually see Sonic in them. But they, oh yeah, there we go. Oh, but he disappears while they, he's inside of them. So, um, yeah, anyways, now one other thing too is that this game loads extremely fast on my PC. That could be due to the solid state drive, the fact that it's ported to PC, and a lot of other stuff. Now, one thing that you guys need to pay attention to is this little orb here. This thing will give you hints in case you don't know what to do with the story. And even though I know the story better than I know my own cock, maybe there might be a situation where it helps us. Tails' workshop should be around here somewhere. So let's find Tails' workshop. 
Now, when I was a kid, I remember I thought this was it at first, so I stayed around here for like an hour waiting for something to happen. <laughs> I felt so stupid. Oh man. But yeah, these are the Mystic Ruins, man. And um, man, this music just childhood, childhood hitting me in the face right now. Man, this is just really something. But um, yeah, so this is the Mystic Ruins. Really like kind of like nature-ish, mountainy area somewhat. You know, let me just give you guys a real quick tour of the place. Um, oh wait, yeah, the sensitivity, man. I gotta get used to it. I really gotta get used to it. All right, so now we are here. Um, yeah, this is just a train, but you can actually used to. Oh, in Sonic Adventure One, you were able to like run. Endlessly until you run into a wall and then it would stop, but it was, it was invisible though. Yeah, here we go No, no, you can't do it. But yeah, um, this is the train <laughs> And there's a couple of other areas around here, too But um, I guess we'll get into those later on, you know, th these aren't too important right now But um, things will make sense later on once once stuff happens. So anyways, let's look around here a little bit Oh, sorry, man. I didn't mean to attack you um, I found a child garden in the Mystic Ruins. It's on the other side of this cave, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Now, some of you may not know what the hell a chow is. Like I said, it's kind of like a pet. So you, you, it's like little babies that you take care of and you, um, kind of like, they're, they're really cute. They're really cute. Trust me. I, I got really deep into the chow thing. So, um, that's something that I just really had a loving for, a, a real big love for. Can you go now? Oh, you can go. Wow, I didn't know you can access the child garden so. Alright, so I'm just going to show you guys really quick what this is. Um, it's just a garden for now, but if we look around here a little bit more, you'll see there's an egg. And these eggs are um, what the chow are hatched from. Now, we're not going to open any eggs in this game, because I think the chow garden in this game is extremely, extremely raw and archaic. And even though they updated it from Sonic Adventure 1's chow, Station Square will be departing soon. Even though they updated it from um, Sonic Adventure 1 original Chow Garden, the Chow Garden in DX is still meh. I'd rather do the Chow Garden in Sonic Adventure 2, so we're gonna kind of bypass Chow in this game. Sadly. Sorry. But anyways, let's run up here. That's Tails' workshop right there. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Look, it's a giant talking egg. Scientist. I am Dr. Robotnik. The what I find interesting, in why is he introducing himself to him when he's what fought him so many times? Man. So it's like this game intended on making them new to each other, you know? Tails. Chaos Emeralds, man. Keep your eye on Or, or what? what? You flying sack of shit. Or else I'll take them from you by force. The hard way. I'll show him something hard. Anyway. <laughs> now, as you can see, Dr. Eggman, he's ready to fuck. Like, look at him. This guy's ready to fuck. <laughs> especially when you see the move that, especially when you see this thing's special move, you'll know he's ready to fuck. It's pretty cool. Now, um, we're gonna tear him up real quick. No homo. The Egg Hornets. Ah, so many fights against this thing. Man, I gotta get really used to these controls though. Alright, now... All you gotta do basically is avoid all of his attacks and then he'll do his special. Which, I say, makes him ready to fuck. Look, he gets two erections, now you have to speedball into him. Simple, simple. You know, you gotta understand, man, this is like the first boss in the game. Things get are real simple at this point, but the game gets relatively difficult later on. Trust me, it's not a pushover game when you get to the later parts. It requires a lot of... You know, a lot of freaking planning. And accuracy too. Because you guys, you see his Sonic Spin Dash, right? This is one of the most broken mechanics in a Sonic game ever because the Spin Dash allows for infinite, infinite speed and like it doesn't slow down your acceleration at all. If anything, the Spin Dash accelerates you endlessly. You know what I mean? So you can use that to break a lot of things in the game, like to mess things up, to access glitches, and all that crap. It's really broken. And you can use it to get some really crazy airtime too. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Yeah, the spin dash in this game is ridiculous. This is my favorite spin dash in any Sonic game ever, just for the fact of how OP it is. It sends you flying if you manage to get over a ramp with it. 
and um, they really reduced the significance of the spin dash in modern Sonic games now. Like, in, like all our recent Sonic games, the spin dash is just totally well, nerfed. That wasn't so, so I love it in these early stages. And he oh, gets the no. emerald. Oh no. Why would Tails be walking out open with this fucking emerald? Like, that's why I don't understand. He's all like, la la la, yeah, oh, Sonic, yes. we I did it. it. Oh no, he took it from Chaos. me. <laughs> what did you expect? Anyways. That's chaos. Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Yeah, so do it, Sonic. I'm telling you, man, Chaos, he's the perfect interpretation of a crack guy. Like, look, he took the damn rock in, yes. and now he's it's on his <laughs> Oh, man. Like, a couple things are wrong. His strength increases every time I feed him a Chaos Emerald. With all seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible and work for me. The concept of Chaos, I love it, actually. Will destroy I, I absolutely swim. love the concept of Chaos. I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city, where I will rule it all! Okay, sure, on, Chaos. sure. Let's find another emerald, shall we? Tell your man to stop beating off with one hand. <laughs> but yeah, man, I love Chaos. I love him as a character. The concept of him gaining Sorry, strength with every emerald. Can't get away with it's it's can absolutely you? magnificent. No way, Tails. Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform, so... Yeah, so the main goal of this game, for Sonic at least, is to get those Chaos Emeralds before Eggman gets them off of Chaos and allows him to reach his final form. Because with the seven Emeralds, Chaos will grow bigger. As you saw, his arm grew bigger when he got one Emerald, so we have to stop him from doing that shit, basically. Now, I love Chaos so much. He's actually one of my... He's actually, I think he's my favorite Sonic character. I like Metal Sonic, Chaos, and then Sonic. So, I mean... Yeah, Chaos is amazing, you know? The only sad part about it is that he hasn't made any recent Sonic game appearances, any modern cameos, nothing like that. He's kind of just been forgotten about. I think the last game that he appeared in was... Sonic Adventure 2. And he wasn't even like a main character, he was just kind of like an extra playable character in the multiplayer. Well, he appeared in Sonic Battle too. But um, he, didn't, he hasn't appeared anywhere else since, so it's pretty fucked up. Pretty, oh, oh wait, he appeared in Sonic Generations when they took it back with the boss battles, but I don't consider those appearances because those are just nostalgia trips. Anyways, so now that we know what Eggman's plans are, what we have to do is um, figure out how to get the Chaos Emeralds. And the, oh my god! <laughs> yes, you can fall off the levels like that. You got seven lives left. You have to be really careful in these adventure maps because the adventure maps are pretty much like the open world. You can die, no problem. But there are little secrets and treasures hidden around here. But because of the finicky controls, you have to really watch yourself. Um, okay, so now we go to Tails' workshop. What is this we find in front of it? What is this? The windstone. It looks like a key. The design must mean something. Now, if we go into Tails' workshop here, we'll see that um, it's kind of weird. You know, there's really nothing to... There's really nothing in here. I, it always seemed like there was, but there's not anything in there, so it's, it's kind of strange, but, um, a little, a little, yeah, it's very strange. Anyway, so now, there's also an upstairs, but we can't really access that with Sonic unless we use the broken-ass spin dash. Like this. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, when the spin dash is on a ramp, you get some insane air. So this is Tails' workshop, you know, pretty cool. You don't really interact with this place too much, but, um, there are a few times that you do. Oh, but wait, what's that over there, huh? You guys see what that thing is spinning over there? That, my friends, is an emblem. Now, of course, that is too far for us to reach under normal circumstances, but you gotta remember, we're standing, and we got the access of the speed dash on a ramp. Oh, fuck. Okay, I messed that one up. Wait, okay, there's a way to do this. I'm, I'm telling you, man, the spin dash, you can use that shit. We gotta get up to that ramp over there. And one thing about the spin dash that also makes it broken is the fact that it defies gravity. So, um, like for example, if you're on a slope, on a hill like this, and Sonic is walking like that, and he's about to slide down, instead of using the spin dash, he stays wherever he is and ricochets. Now, as you guys can see, we didn't even have to come here with Tails. We just spin dashed over here with Sonic. Normally, you wouldn't be able to jump this far, but um, using that spin dash, you can get some crazy air in this game. 
But anyways, now let's utilize that win key because there's something weird about it and we gotta see what the hell the story is. So remember, it's called the wind stone. So obviously this must regard something like wind. You know they took this shit from Legend of Zelda. The wind temple, the water temple, I mean, well, the forest temple. You know the forest temple and the water temple in Legend of Zelda are actually the wind and ice temple, right? But anyways, wind. Ooh, what's this? Okay, so we're bouncing up on wind. The symbol on the key looks pretty damn similar to the symbol on that pedestal right there. What happens if we put it down? The key is floating. <laughs> and suddenly, the logs are removed and we can jump inside and go to the Windy Valley where it's rumored that a Chaos Symbol is. And sure enough, let's get the Chaos Symbol. But by the way, Tails in Sonic Adventure 1 follows Sonic no matter what. You can actually hurt him too. See? <laughs> and if you have another controller plugged into your game, a second player can control Tails and fly around, kill enemies and all that. So it's pretty cool. Anyways. Oh man, I gotta get used to this with these controls, man. Oh shit. The Chameleon bot. Yeah, it just... Here we go. Let's get him. Oh, Tails got him, you see? Tails can kill enemies in this. It's pretty cool. Let's go. There's so many mechanics to this game that are like not explained on the surface that you have to find out yourself. Man, I used to play this so much as a kid. I would just play through the game over and over and over again as a kid just because. Oh! I thought that you would have a homing attack when you're in that jump, but you don't. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm telling you, man, the controls. This game, is it just me, or does this game look better on the PC than it did on the GameCube, you know? It looks really good right now to me. Anyway, so now if we use the spin dash, we can get that life up there. No, we missed! Now one thing that I used to do a lot with Tails is that I would use a second controller for my Dreamcast that I had and um, I would use that controller to send Tails to get stuff that I can't get, that I missed out on. And now we are running here, as you guys can see there's a big ass tornado there, crazy shit. And you can use the camera to rotate it and actually look inside the tornado while Sonic is in there. It's pretty wild. Head straight now, up, you should be able to get out of the tornado. Thank you. Oh and by the way. That little orb of light that tells you all that stuff, it's a little bit Jump odd, right? There's more one. of a story behind it that will thing. Take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel or else you'll fall. Let's go, we gotta use this the same way as we used a trampoline before. Man, the later part of this level has me scared because of the controls, man. Wait, wait, we missed the spring? How do we miss the spring? Okay, but yeah, um, that, that little orb of light, that thing comes into importance later on in this game, man. Keep your eyes open for that. Here we go. Yeah, I'm scared for the later part of this level because the controls are so crazy. Here we go. This is like my favorite part, but right now I'm not feeling it with the PS4 controller. Oh, I love this part. Let's go, baby. Oh, and there's a speed bubble here. Let's get some work done. Here we go. Let's go, Sanic. Let's go. Let's go, Sonic! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! What? Ah! Uh. Let's go. Now, if we had the light speed dash, we'd be able to travel across those rings, but we don't. The light speed dash is like a special move that lets him travel across rings. But um, since we don't have it, we just gotta take things the regular way. Let's see if we can stay in speedball form. The speedball is so hard to maintain in this level, man. Cause you know, if you bump against the walls, you lose the speedball. But it looks so cool if you manage to execute it correctly. And I know it's not called the speedball, I know it's called the spin dash, but you know, that's just my name for it, it's always been, I like speedball better, god damn it. Anyways, let's get this spring, got 100 rings, got one extra life, I'm loving it. Let's go Sonic, some more of these crazy ramps, I love these things, let's stay in speedball form, let's go, let's go. It looks so cool if you're able to maintain it. Oh shit. <laughs> this game is broken, this game, oh, wait, oh we're still alive? We're still alive, whoa. Whoa, we're still alive. The game. The, oh, the. No! Okay, that was dumb. Anyways, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This music is actually remixed from an earlier Sonic game called. Um, 
What is that damn game called? I can't believe I... Okay, here we go, here we go. Damn it. I used to be so good at maintaining the speedball. Here we go. Man, I might have to do a second playthrough of this game as soon as I get sharp at it again. And um, as we reach this platform, what is that? I see with my eye right there. My friends, that's looking like a goddamn emerald. We found us another Chaos Emerald, so that is one to Eggman's one. Pretty damn good so far. As long as we find the next one, we'll be ahead of him, so I'm, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I love this level still, man. I'm surprised I handled it so well, besides that yeah, one crazy death. Thing. And when you beat the level's objective, you get an emblem. Now, if I do that level again, the, the Chaos Emerald won't be there. Square will be departing soon. Oh, I can't even do that level again. I can't do the level again, yeah. Because right now I'm playing in story mode. The story mode is very different from the mode if you just go to play the level itself, you know? Things can change in the overworld, you know? A lot of things can wind up different, so... You have to keep your eyes open to that. A lot can change around here. Now, you see this track here? There's no minecart there right now. But later on, keep your eyes open. And also, this little area here, this pond, it looks really suspicious, right? Well, this, maybe it doesn't look suspicious to you, but it looks a little out of place, don't it? There's something here very strange. You push that part in, you see that thing come out? It dropped something into the water right there. And what does that remind you of? It looks like one of those eggs from the child garden. However, it's silver. Now, there can be different color childs, so this is actually an egg, but I'm not going to take it for now. We're just going to let it sit there in the goddamn water for animals and predators to get at it. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't, it won't be hurt or anything like that. I mean, the game's not that fucked up. And, um, by the way, that piece of rock that's right in the wall is very discolored compared to the rest of the wall. It looks kind of odd, don't it? Let's see what, let's see what the... I almost spoiled it. You may find something. Go to Station Square, you may find something. Very subtle. I almost said something that spoiled the end game of what that glowing orb of light is, you know? I, I'm playing through this with the idea that there are people who don't know the game watching. So, going to Station Square now, and look at that. It's it's um, in the evening, well no, it's in the, um, at sunset. Things are really beautiful at this time. I love it when the game is in sunset mode, man. It's really pretty. Hey, it's Sonic! Is it true you saved the entire world? What's happening with Angel Island? Man, I don't know. I go to this casino every night. The lights are really pretty. From now on, the casino is only open at night. Hmm, I wonder why. Let's look around here. Let's see if there's anything else worth talking to. Nope. The people change. Things change. So let's look at the city now that it's um that it's um sunset. You can see what's going on around here. This guy again. All right. As you can see, the city looks pretty cool at sunset. You know. Oh, what's this lady got to say? We're not going to talk to too many people. Oh, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. It's so much bigger than my hometown. Talk about culture shock. I'll show her something bigger than her hometown. Um, they're going inside. I hate sunsets. Wait, what? Why? They're going inside. I hate sunsets. That doesn't make any sense. But who's going inside? And why does it correlate with you hating sunsets? And um, anyways, you also have this amusement park. Now, if you remember the couple, the dude with his thought girlfriend, they were talking about cute couples getting free. We've got a special for couples right now. Cute ones getting free. And now also, if we look down here, there's nothing here for us. But there just might be something available for somebody else. You never know. One thing you gotta realize, the, the, um, the overworld, like the world map right now, is open to every character. So if I play, with, oh look, it's a black kid. I don't remember no black kid in Sonic Adventure. Holy crap. Wow, I didn't even remember that. Oh look, he's walking. That's pretty cool. I, I totally forgot that there are people that walk in this game. Look at this nigga. <laughs> this dude look like a young show. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's talk to him. Um, hey, I saw the coolest pair of shoes. They're supposed to make you feel lighter than air. They're hidden in a secret spot. They'd be perfect for you, Sonic, if you can find them. Mention some cool shoes. Well, I'm down. Also, this part of the city is open now, so we can travel 
back here. So we're about to see the new part of Station Square that's opening up now. My husband is an adventurer. When he leaves home, you never know when he'll come back. He's probably at the Mystic Ruins looking for old relics. Maybe you've met him. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Now, here we go. The second part of Station Square. Cars are actually here. Looking around a little bit. Oh, whoa, I dropped into a hole. Okay. Whoa. Well, that's just like Sonic did. Drop into a goddamn sewage line. Now, what is down here? Hmm. Jump up here. Oh, shit. What does that look like to you? That looks like some goddamn new shoes. That black kid was down here. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's a black kid, but I mean... Ooh. Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. Pretty cool, right? So now we can run across trails of rings. That's what I was talking about in the Windy Valley level. Use the light what... dash to run along the paths of rings. Hold the action button and let go when you have enough power. So, what we gotta do is this. Ready, go. It's like that. Run across the trail of rings. It seems kind of weird, and I know I was weirded out by it at first, but it's really useful for later on. So now, we leave Station Square. It is suddenly nighttime. Very weird, right? How time passes by when I was only in the sewer for like maybe a, a second or two. If we jump on top of the cars, They'll actually um, let us drive with them. They'll drive with us on top of them. But they'll slow down if we come in front of a window. Like this, you see? Anyways, so I'm looking around Station Square a little bit more. Let's talk to a few more people. Whoops, sorry. They really shouldn't make the talk button the same with the spin dash button. Oh, it sure fooled me. It's just a statue in front of the burger shop. I hear it goes on trips sometimes, though. The statue in front of the burger shop she's referencing is this guy. If we talk to him, we actually can pick him up. This is not a, uh, a human, this is just a statue, so um, yeah. Let's, let's take his ass for a trip. You know what, in fact, let's, let's, let's put his ass on top of the freaking car. Oh yeah, it's like that. Okay. Dude's having a little synapse over there. Um, let's see what this guy has to say. Hey, don't use that back door! <laughs> what you gonna do, bitch? Um, uh, whoop! Oh. Let's see what this guy has to say. The day is done and work is over. Let's hit the casino. My nigga, you have the right idea in mind. I'm about to, about to gamble my whole damn ring collection away. Okay. Damn it! I set a new record. I got so close this time. Oh my, I'm totally in love. Station Square, man. You wanna, you wanna get hooked up? You know where to go. I've got a feeling someone's staring at me. It's not going away. What can it be? Oh, there's an emblem in here. Well, good thing we came in. Anyways, so I'm thinking that the girl is the person that's staring at him. I set a new record. I got so close this time. I'm totally in love. She's, she's crushing on that guy in there. That's why he says he feels like he's being watched. Anyways, we're done here. So let's go now to the casino. Remember, they said the casino is open at nighttime. So let's go over there and see if we can um, get lucky. Because, after all, we up at night to get fun. We up at night to get some. I'm up all night to get lucky, bitch. Um, let's see what this girl has to say. I'm pretty mature for my age, so I can stay out late. My mom keeps begging me to study. You're a badass kid. How the hell? Wow. What are you doing out here? Just walking around? I told her it's late. Go home. But she won't listen. I just hope she doesn't make her parents worry. Dad? Oh, she's worried about her dad. That sucks. And let's see about this guy, you know, he, he said that he didn't like being out here at this time. Has the sun gone down? I hate the stars. Nigga, you hate everything. What's your problem, man? Alright, well, pretty much, we now we can, to the can talk to area at night time. What's going on, guys? Etika here to bring you some more Sonic Adventure DX. Sonic Adventure 1 DX, whatever you want to call it. So, um, when we last left off, we were in Station Squa, and, uh, we were told about the casino, so you know what? Since people are telling us to go gamble, why don't we just go and gamble? Fuck it, why not? As you can see, we can still go to Emerald Coast right now. It would be nighttime and all that. It's pretty cool. It's, it's extremely cool, actually. Um, but for now, we're kind of fucking around a little bit too much. Let's go to the casino. This is actually another way into it besides this train station. So now, you're here. 
take a look at that, huh? Crazy. Damn, this game is so finicky. Let's talk to this kid. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be Wah! My mom went into the casino but hasn't come out yet. I know what's going on. I'll find your mom, but I can't guarantee she's coming out. <laughs> oh man, the talking. You can't freaking talk to someone without speedballing. Wow. Neon lights, great music. So that's the casino that everyone's been talking about. Hmm, I wonder what that switch is there over the sign. I always get the urge to press things like that. The switch over the sign, huh? You see that button? It looks kind of weird, right? I wonder how we can press that thing. Oh, what's this, a button? Press the button. There's rings. What do you think this means? Ready? Ooh. I don't know if everyone has to do that to get inside of the casino, because if what if they weren't a hedgehog wearing light speed shoes that has the ability to travel across golden rings, then how does that work? How do they get inside the casino? You know? I don't think I could do that. But um, anyways, let's go gamble, man. This level is iconic to my childhood. Iconic. It's a chaos emerald in here. So let's look around and get that chaos emerald, man. Alright, this looks like it might just be the right path. Try and deposit as many rings as you can. It may even help show you the way. So as you can see there, the 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 the, or the orb of light told us, hey man, get as many rings as you can so that the rings uh, I don't know. Well whatever. Let's get rings. Let's get rings. Let's collect us some rings. That might just lead us to something good, you know. Is there any more rings to collect around here? We gotta, let's get some so I at least see, you know, what the hell that orb of light was mentioning about collecting rings. Okay. One thing about that's unique about Sonic's light speed attack is the fact that it can actually hit objects. Looks like that. Well, not exactly like that, but there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can hit people with a spin ball attack even if he's not um, letting go. If he's charging it, does the same thing. Get these rings. Now, some of you who already know this game may be saying, you know, why are you delaying? But I want to prove a point, okay? Now, let's go back to the vault and see if we can deposit these rings and get that Chaos Emerald. Try and deposit as many rings as you can. It may even help show you the way. Now, thing shakes us out. And look at the counters on the left and right. 25. It took all of our rings and put them into this pile here. Now, as you can see here, the more rings that we have, the bigger the stack will be. And the bigger the stack becomes, then the higher up we'll be able to travel to get that Chaos Emerald up here. So we have to stack our rings up, which means we got to get a lot of rings. We ain't going to get that just by smashing into slot machines. We're going to have to do something a little bit different. Card and pinball? You dudes ready for some pinball? I'm ready for some pinball. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go for some pinball. So, this is huge part of my childhood because when I played this I had no idea what Knights was so I would just like be like oh you know I don't know what the hell this is but um okay let's just do this to get some rings so we, we're playing some pinball baby the music is great too I, I love the music it's so iconic man so iconic to me so now if we as you can see there are um, cards that you have to collect if you get the same amount of cards in a row, or cards that correspond with each other, then you get a little bit of a bonus into your ring collection. I, I can't remember exactly how many rings you need to get the Chaos Emerald, to get the pile stacked up high enough, but um... Okay, we got three of a kind, so that's pretty damn good. Let's just keep getting these cards. Now there's something very unique that happens if you let yourself lose the pinball game. Now, if you let yourself lose the pinball game, normally the game's like, oh, whatever, you know, you just get transferred back to the casino. But if you lose all your balls, and you have under 100 rings, or I think it's under, is it under 100 rings? I think it's under 100. Yep, it's under 100. If you lose all your balls and you get under 100 rings, you go straight to the sewers of the casino. And here, it's a lot darker than how it was up there, as you can see. This is where the trash goes, man. Let's uh, charge up our light speed attack. And now you see those little enemies flying around there? Let's just travel across this trail of rings. Boom! Let's go, baby. This is how I operate. Let's do it. That light speed attack is serious, man. 
Here we go. We got 100 rings now. Let's do it. The music is amazing in this game, by the way. We can't lose our rings, man. If we lose them, then we have to start over from the beginning again. We cannot have that happen. We gotta take these rings back to the vault safely before shit gets fucked up. Let's get to the higher point. Let me go! Let me go! No! There we go, there we go. It's pushing us, it's pushing us. There we go. Here we go. We're getting a bunch of rings at least. Here we go. And of course, as you can see, Tails is still with my ass as well. There's always like a casino level in Sonic games. Come on, let me go up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh man, we might have to be careful in this one because I know that there's like spikes in these hallways sometimes that kind of like make you lose all your rings. It's really fucked up. Yeah, you see like those, you see? We don't need those to fuck us up and make us lose all of our rings, you know? Come on. Now, if we were to beat that slot, if we were to let ourselves die on that slot machine with um, over 100 rings, then like I said, we'd just be transferred to the overworld again, so it wouldn't be a big deal. Come on. Here we go. Okay, we're good. Let's collect these rings here. Now, there's another trail of rings there. Now, normally, I guess you wouldn't really do this, but I always do it because it's very convenient for me. The trail of rings, man. The trail of rings. And um, if you don't know what Sonic just did there, he kind of like, there's water dripping, so he kind of just should clean himself. Now, we are in the bathroom of the casino. Let's collect these rings here. We're still invincible, by the way. Um, now, let's see if we made bank enough for the Chaos Emerald to be acquired by us. If we didn't, we just go back to the slot machines one more time. Oops. Okay, we gotta go out now. Let's do it. I think we should have enough. Oh yeah, we have a bunch of rings, man. Yeah, we definitely did it. Just like that. Yes. Chaos Emerald acquired. That's how you do it, man. I don't even mess with the slot machines most of the time. I just let myself fall into the sewer. Yeah, not bad. And since we got the objective, emblem in tow. Let's go. So now we're leaving this. Okay, there's a another key there. Leaving the casino feeling good. Everything's everything worked out for the better, right? Yeah. They got two chaos emblems. Hey. The Eggman's one. But Oh no, the Chaos Emerald! Oh no you don't! Oh jeez! Nigga spray toxic gas at me. <laughs> Eggman. He sprayed toxic gas at them. And they been fucked up just laying on the sidewalk. Until daytime. Oh man. What happened to that emerald we just had? I guess Eggman's got one of them, but the other one's safe. Yeah, remember, they had that two. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic, we need to get busy. Look at this. You see that person flying? That's... Ah, you're wondering who the hell that was, right? My friends, that was Cream the Rabbit, who was a new character introduced to the Sonic series when this game came out. So the game designers, they thought, oh, maybe it'd be cool if we gave her a cameo since she's the new Sonic character. She failed miserably. The she's... train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. So now, just to get some perspective, let's talk to the little orb of light and see what we should do next. Use the Ice Stone in the Mystic Ruins. Pretty damn straightforward. Let's do it. To the Mystic Ruins we go. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. You better not drop this on the train or get robbed, you know? Give me the motherfucking ice stone! Dude, this isn't meant for you. This is meant to open a door. <laughs> the ice stone. It looks like a key. Maybe I can use it in the Mystic Rooms. Let's go. Got the ice stone in hand. 
and suddenly that wall with the weirdly colored structure broke down. So now, I don't know why it decided to break down suddenly when Sonic came in on the train. Maybe it knew. Anyways, let's, let's climb these things. That's clearly, because that's clearly not the way to go, right? Come on. Come on, let me jump. Okay. Oh, let's see what the little orb of light has to say. Didn't you see a stone with an ice pattern on it? Yeah, I have it in my hand right now, motherfucker. Here we go, we are in. Okay, let's do it. Wait, what's this guy gotta say? The rocks crumbled and revealed an entrance to a cave. The soil seems a lot like the soil from the Mystic Ruins. But we are in the Mystic Ruins. Anyways, so now as we travel down here, suddenly... What is this? A door? With an ice pattern on it? Well, why don't we drop this key next to it? Maybe this will do something. Hmm, there's a wall here. We can't go past it. Ah. Anyways, we'll come back to that later on. And um, for now, we're gonna go inside of this ice cave. Freezing ass water. By the way, Sonic can't swim. So, if you're in water and you don't get out fast enough, I'll show you what happens, although you probably already know. So as you can see, Sonic is in water, the bubbles are breathing out, and um, it should happen in a few seconds. Let's take a wait here. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. Here we go. Yeah, it gets... I used to be scared of this as a kid because the music bothered me. Like, oh my god, it's gonna die! No! No, Sonic! Sonic! But nah, I'm not gonna let him die there. Of course not. Of course not. I love Sonic. No way. You got a mission, man. Get that Chaos Emma so you can at least have two of the Eggmans, too. We are in the polar ice caps. Let's go. Let's get this bitch. There we go. Even if you're frozen, okay. jump a couple of times. Okay. You here. should be able to crack through. Hmm. Okay. There's some. There's a panel over there. If you use the light speed attack. What does this do? Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. Now what this allowed us to do is take a shortcut, I think. Yeah, this allowed us to take a shortcut. We would have had to do a long, complicated process to get here if we didn't use the light speed dash. So, um, just for the sake of vintage, let's go through this without me hacking the game. Okay, we're gonna do the- Oh my, you fucking- what the hell are those things anyway? It was look like Scallopy before he was a Pokemon. Let's go. We gotta beat this little obstacle course. Awesome level. Awesome level. Oh god! Okay, cool. We're good, we're good. We're good. Man, this is fucking me up. Why am I playing so stupid? Okay, let's just let's just. Alright, we don't really need to go up there. God damn it. If we die, this will be the most embarrassing thing ever. Because usually, I, I don't take this route. I usually just use the spin dash to fly to the other side of the level. And, um, I'm usually able to get to the highest point without having to go through this little obstacle course that we're going through right now. So I haven't been to this in a long time, actually. Okay. The arrow's pointing this way. So convenient. Thank you, Arrow. Okay, here we go. I love how it gets out of its cockpit. It like it jumps out like oh, shit. <laughs> Anyways, so now we can just continue this. Those animals are actually meant for the child. They power up the child's abilities by giving the child body parts. This is gonna be tough to do with my controller right now. Oh, never mind. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm good. Okay. Let's go. Be careful not to fall off. There we go. Now, you guys are about to witness my favorite part of this level. In fact, one of my favorite parts in Sonic Adventure, period. This is amazing. You guys are about to see what made this game so awesome. 
fucking... A fucking avalanche, man. Let's go. And we're on a fucking snowboard, dude. Let's do it. I used to love this as a kid. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Uh, I used to memorize where all the rings are, but my memory fails me now. Let's go. There's only a few basic controls that you have as this. You can jump, and you can, um... That's it. You can jump. That's it. So let's do it. I used to be so pro at this. Let's go. Oh, this is so epic. Can you imagine playing this as a kid in the 90s, man? This is the most game... This is the most revolutionary thing that you've ever done as a kid in the 90s. Let's do it. Let's go, Sanic. What game was giving you action like this back in the freaking 90s? Oh, Sega Dreamcast had it, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, the tricks on the wraps. I totally forgot about them. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I have to be quiet right now because everyone's sleeping. My roommates are sleeping, but... Woo. Let's go, baby. I want to show you guys the entry-level trick. Ah. Let's go. Let's go, Sonic. Woo. Let's go. Down to the secret path. Man, I wish you could race in this game so you could have like two people who are snowboarding on this. That would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. Let's go, baby. Ah, this is the hardest trick melee. This is the hardest trick melee you have to do in the game. Because you have to get three ramps and get the maximum speed. And here we go. This is it. This is it. This is it. Let's go! We did it. Wait, no, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Oh. Well, we came close, because if you got the trick at the last second... Oh, look at that! Why? That's a chaos. I'm over there. Let's get that shit. Man, because with that last ramp, if you get it, if you do the trick right off the tip of the ramp, then you get some extreme airtime. Sonic, like, flies all the way to the Emerald, doing, like, this crazy-ass trick. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. But, um, yeah, man. Playing through that again? Oh, man. All right, so now we finished. We got that emerald. So now Eggman yeah, has two, and we have two. So we're not bad at all right now. Not bad in the slightest. Let's go get the rest of those emeralds. But first, let's consult with that little orb of light to see where we have to go next. Wait a minute. Wait, I smell something. I see something. There's something red on that hill up there, man. Something red and spiny looking up on that hill. Is that who I think it is? Because it looks like it might be who I think it is. Oh, man. Let's get a little better viewpoint. Yeah, man. There's something red up on that hill, man. Who will it be? It's pretty damn obvious. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.